Ah. 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 Hi. Hello. Um. Welcome to this. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. Ooh, hello, everybody. I have pizza and um, a cider, so <laughs> that might be why this is like this. Warning. Uh, so sorry for food sounds, if there's food sounds. Uh, but I have to eat dinner, but also I want to play this and share it with the world. So this is Sonic Adventure Blast, which is a game that was submitted uh, by Chubba Bubba to the Sonic, uh, Sonic Amateur Games Expo, not the Sonic Adventure Games Expo, which is like a yearly thing that the Sonic community has been doing for uh, roughly a hundred years where a bunch of people make like Sonic fan games and Sonic like engine concepts and stuff. Uh, and they post them up to for everyone to see and play and just have a nice time of. Sorry, my layout's a little wrong. Oh, I got a spicy thing in my throat. It's fine. Uh, and so uh, in recent years, there's been a lot of 3D things, which is always interesting because um, usually they're just like engine tests. But I feel like the next most common thing is people take stages that already exist from you know, other games, and just kind of pop their Sonic in there. Um, and I love that, because I love to play as a character in, like, stages from something that I'm already familiar with. Uh, so I peeked at the missions menu. I don't know if Arcade is just going to be, like, we play through all the stages in an order, but I peeked in here, and there's a lot of levels. There's a lot of these levels in the game. There's a nice little grandpa over on the right, which I assume is like a player icon? I don't know. Um, but there's like some Sonic stuff, there's Woohoo Island, <laughs> there's uh, some Mario things, uh, some Mario Kart, there's Firefield, which I assume is the level from F-Zero? <laughs> so it seems like it's gonna be a uh, crime time. Nice crime time. So we're just gonna start off with uh, Arcade, and we'll see where that takes us. I don't know what's in extras. Oh, A ranks hidden NPC. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so let me know if the audio is bad because it feels like the sound in this game is very quiet. Um, but I tested it beforehand and it seemed fine. So let's go. It's Emerald Coast. So the first thing that I noticed, because I'm normal, is um. Sonic has the exact idle animation of Super Mario from Super Mario 64, which is just nice to see. Uh, so the engine seems, I don't know if it's like based on one of the existing 3D Sonic fan game engines, um, but it, it feels like pretty normal. Uh, you've got uh, movement, <laughs> you can move with the left stick. Uh, this part's weird. You use the, like, shoulder L2, R2 to move the camera left and right, and then you use the stick to go up and down. And then, wait, never mind, the stick also does this! <laughs> Maybe it was just an, uh, there's an auto cam. Yeah, auto cam, you can, like, tilt the, s the camera with the stick. And then, I don't know, anyway, auto cam's bad. Uh, you can press the square button to do a roll, and you can move during it, I guess, which I've just noticed! Um, one thing I'm not a fan of, Sonic does not become a perfect sphere when he roll into a ball. I feel like that's a, a bit cowardly of a move, but you know, it's fine. Um, if you do spin dash in the air, you do a bounce, bracelet, bounce. Um, and then this is kind of weird. If you press circle while in the air, it makes a spin dash sound. And when you land, you do like a really wimpy little roll. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a Sonic Mania drop dash or something, but it doesn't work uh, very good right now. <laughs> oh yeah, and you've got a uh, homing attack, which seems to work fine. Uh, triangle doesn't do anything. And that's sort of the moves. Uh, it's most of the classic moves of Sonic the Hog. Uh, so naturally, the first thing that I did when I tested this for one minute is I went up here. And that sort of let me know that like 
zero efforts were taken to constrain where the player can go in these imported maps, which is exactly what I want. So, um, let's adventure through Sonic's Blast. Whoop, that's a good start. Oh yeah, also, um, I think this is Sonic's model from the special stages in Mania? Not positive. But it looks like it. Also, I like how it's animated frame by frame. It's just a good look. Also, sorry, I haven't been looking at the chat during my, like, initial spiel. Uh, so sorry if I missed anything! I'll try to pay attention from now on. Never trust those loops. I love how the water is like super detailed modern game water. Um, so <laughs> the state of Emerald Coast here is uh, you still have these little bits you could walk on in Sonic Adventure, and there's sort of a weird seafloor which you do fall through and go to your death. I was kind of hoping you could just walk on it, but. Still getting used to the camera. Maybe I should leave free cam or auto cam on for a bit. Well, that doesn't seem <laughs> doesn't seem much better. Doing camera stuff is a nightmare, so I get it. <laughs> All right. Is there gonna be a whale? Don't think there's going to be a whale. Oh, nope, okay, that's a whale. Or, no, that's a shark. It's just a very large shark. Let's see if we can do this cool thing that you can do. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Oop. This works in Sonic Adventure proper. Oh, I don't... You don't quite get the, the boost that Sonic Adventure Spin Dash gives you, but technically possible. But something I wish they did, which there's no reason to do this at all, is I wish that they fused um, Big's version of this area with Sonic's. So that you could run around this area a little more. Can't homing attack again after homing attacking one spring, which is a little bit odd. Oh, okay. Oh, mm, okay. <laughs> no. That's just open, huh? Ah, beautiful. So you can get a good, good look out here. They probably didn't import the object layout from the original game, I guess. Probably just the geometry, but in the original game, somewhere down there in that abyss is a spring. That if you trick Knuckles into this level, if you crime him in here, uh, you spawn on that spring. It's at like probably zero zero or something coordinates. All right, let's see. Can we go up here. Oh no, I don't think we can. Well, maybe a slightly different method. Ah, it is at zero zero. Oh, I wish the spin dash was better for crimes! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm, almost. Sorry, this is sort of what the stream's gonna be. <laughs> oh, is that not solid? Oh, it might actually be better to jump off of this. Oh good, that's good to hear about Sonic World. Uh, Sonic World is another one of these. It's very good to <laughs> do crime exploration in. I wonder if you die when you go down here. Yep, okay. Mmm. <laughs> Lose momentum pretty quick. I'll just move on. Oh, maybe this though. 
<laughs> you don't grab it when you go through it. There's Sonic's eyes. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Yes! Alright! It's past my evil test. Something very... I think I've told this story before, undoubtedly, but... Uh, back when Sonic Adventure DX was new on the GameCube, um, and you could see it in store demos, I would always get Sonic up here and like leave the demo like that. Very cool thing to do. Right, let's move on. <laughs> it's kind of open. You'd climb on this geometry. <laughs> That's good. Something I always love about these things that use uh, existing geometry from other games is the draw distance being very long. <laughs> so like you can see the beginning over there, or the end over there. Oh, <laughs> rest in peace. Oh, this is the uh, this is the Sonic Adventure DX version got the different geometry for these rocks. Camera's good. Oh, good, good, good. Bub oh, yes, Sonic's classic shield that he has. Oh, I have to control this manually. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'll try auto cam again. Oh, I love the the splashing sprite is a 2D pixely thing. So yeah, normally that part of the level is uh, fully automatic, <laughs> in the same way that like a loop de loop is. So we'll just sort of do it this way. <laughs> we made it. And I can take a bite. Oh, that's a good victory! I'll take a bite of my pizza. All right. I guess the character's eyes disappear when they're walking. <laughs> anyway, we're Knuckles now, um, in one of Regis's stages. So Knuckles can climb. When you do it, the game sort of hangs for a sec. <clears throat> oh, it's one of these guys. You can do one very large punch. And that's kind of it. Oh, here's a... I wonder if we can climb out the top of this stage. Rouge's music is absolutely the best music in Sonic Adventure 2. Oh? Oh? Wait, wait, what's all that? What's all that out there? Hang on! I want to get out there! I definitely saw... <laughs> just be skybox stuff, but how did I, I definitely got up here, right? Oh yeah, auto cam. Oh, let me out. Oh, I get out there. 
Cuppy Dog City, I wanna go! Okay, I think there's a... <laughs> I don't think it wants me to go. We'll, we'll try some other... See if we can get out there some other way. There's definitely like a ceiling plane here. Ooh. I've tasted freedom. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, you can do this. Oh, he dig. Oh, can Knuckles swim? Oh, wow. Okay. This I wasn't expecting. Knuckles can indeed swim. this guy? Looks mm. like he's just kind of T-posing. Oh, I wanna... I wanna get out! Back to the top. Let's see if I can get like at least a peek outside of this area. Haha! Mm -hmm. <laughs> My crime instincts have not failed me this day. All right, so now we're on the outside. <laughs> is that? That's probably the other part of the stage, right? There's one of the rooms you can dig into as... Oh, wait. Wait! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> is this Wild Canyon? Wild Canyon, huh? So this is Wild Canyon. Probably not supposed to be over here. <laughs> Wait, is this the other half of the lagoon? Oh wait, okay, it is the other half of the lagoon. You're right, okay. It looks a lot like Wild Canyon. Anyway. Let me get over here. Is this... It must have been a thousand years since I've played this stage. No, that's Wild Canyon, right? I wonder if they combined them? I don't know. Whatever. Now we're here. Hey, hang on. <laughs> There's definitely a man up there. <laughs> There's definitely a man up here. Sorry for getting so confused about Dry Lagoon and Wild Canyon. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> True! <laughs> it is nice. Oh, this must be what the old man uh, head icon in the mission stage, or the mission menu was. Indication of whether there's a hidden man. Also, it's not the burger man. I think this is the guy who runs the, uh, the shop that you can steal the chow egg from. Taking a pizza bite. Mm hmm. All right, that's fun. Hey, it's weird seeing this. <laughs> Just sort of this motions to the whole every. God, just like knowing there's no invisible walls here. If this game had a better spin dash. Oh, you could do so much. Up and down and all around. Oh, 
Yeah, unfortunately the burger statue doesn't work. <laughs> to steal the egg. Whoops. I don't know why I thought that would work. Uh, you can probably climb to the tails area. I'll try it when I get there. Do this? Yes, good. I wish the camera controls were inverted. <laughs> Ah! Okay. <laughs> Missed all those springs. No helicopter. Uh, this is Speed Highway. I like how a lot of these guys are embedded in sort of the ground. In the soft earth of Speed Highway. Um... So I have the camera on, like, manual right now, because it's better for crimes. Oh, oh, now I'm dead. Uh, it's probably better if you have it on auto. Like, the actual Sonic controls are fine. I'm gonna die here. Play with, uh, auto cam on unless I need to do crimes. Oop, mm, ah, ee, mm, mm, mm. No, no, no. I gotta stay up there, cause... I want a bird's eye view. <laughs> Parts like this are tricky because the geometry is not, uh... Not really conducive to being played with the actual <laughs> controls. Sonic Adventure did a lot of that stuff on autopilot pathing. That's very high up. Okay. Uh, tail section is over there. There's rings on it. Don't... <laughs> Sonic's just... He's just like this. I don't know if I could get enough speed using any of the options in this engine to get over there, though. So... It's the only thing. Take a look here. Whoop. See, you gotta use manual cam for this, because otherwise it sort of directs the camera where it wants you to go. Yeah, there's rings up there. They definitely toyed with letting you go over there. Maybe I can get here from the at dawn entrance? Oh, wait! Nope! Okay! <laughs> Never mind, the at dawn entrance is the one that's off limits. Oh, I don't like that. I want to go at dawn! There's definitely no way to get up there. I wonder if there's... Hang on, I'm gonna do some keyboard mashing. I wanna see if there's like some leftover debug keys. Oh, there's one. <laughs> okay, so I can sk spin the skybox. <laughs> oh, now the music's gone. Oh, this feels bad. Speed Highway After Dark. Let's put that back. I don't think we can restore the music, unfortunately, but... Um, let's see, let's some other keys. So that's 9 and 0. Um, alpha. Uh, numpad, do you do anything? No, arrow keys, nothing. WASD controls, so there's probably no debug keys hidden here in the alpha keys. Shift is that. Da, da, da. Hmm. You hide your debug keys in the function keys? That's the ultimate sneaky place. Nope, nothing. Okay, so it looks like we just have the weird skybox mess. Uh, now it's quiet. <laughs> oh, uh, what happens if I take the skybox all the way in this direction? 
Okay, same thing. God, that's really disorienting. I bet you the... I don't think I caused that. I think that might just be from... Uh, where's this taking me? From the music not looping correctly. Probably just has only so many loops in it. Let's take this back to auto. I really wish that I found like a moon jump or something. I'll take a bite of my pizza. I'm very hungry. seem like very <laughs> conducive to sonic controls, but I guess this is what the bounce bracelet's for. Oh boy. Oop. I don't feel like I'm... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> water? Okay, we got our music back. That's good. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here. Oh boy. Padoom. Was there a rocket up there? Oh, he had zero lives, huh? Mm. <laughs> Can we go continually higher and higher? There is a cap on it. Using that high platform as a reference. Oh, there is a rocket up there, but... Classic Sonic gameplay. And we all adore. Ooh, didn't think I was gonna make that one. I can just spin dash down to this guy. Wonder if the rocket's gonna be up here. It seems like you go higher up to, like, a point. But there's definitely a cap on it. No rocket here. I guess that's... Uh. Good work, Sonic. Seems you've found your way. I thought I could land on it, but I didn't. Alright, on to the next one. We stayed there for a thousand years. Hmm. Twinkling Park. First test, now that I know they've supplied collision where there previously was none. Oh! Oh no, I made a mistake! <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't like that. Oh jeez, okay, our <laughs> if you lose arcade mode, you go back to the start. Alright, let's go to admissions. We'll just go through this list this way. <laughs> Yep, uh, Twinkle Park does have It Doesn't Matter built into it. I made 
This pizza way too spicy. <laughs> I messed up. I wanna get up here. Oh, okay. Might not even need to use that upper ledge. Oop. Oop. No. Two. A three. Okay. <laughs> no collision up there. Just checking. That sounds pretty good, honestly. Gorgonzola, buffalo chicken. You know, I hate to say it, but this stage is not going to be especially interesting <laughs> at this speed. So let's see if we can just, like... Oh yeah, that's easy. Oh no! <laughs> they saw me coming! Oh, thank you for the subs! Alright, well I guess we just have to do this. <laughs> Oh, you've gotten a gift. <laughs> You're building up icons. I think you can you can probably like choose which icons show up next to your thing, right? It's gotta be. I think they're called badges if that helps you find it in the UI. Auto cam. Ah! Thanks for more subs! I don't have anything that like tells me in like a nice little list when people sub. I should probably have that. Sonic has evolved beyond the need for car. You banned someone? You fool! Who'd you ban? I definitely want to get some kind of awful sub explosion thing. I have some ideas, but I need to do some research before I put them into practice. Uh, Shoutouts to Hwugs with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks so much. Uh, hope you stick around and enjoy your time here. I'm not gonna... Okay, I did make it. Okay, but now... Is this solid? Nope, okay. Oh! The rest of the stage is actually here. The snowmans are sort of a uh, bastion of peace in our chaotic world. They'll always be here with us. I don't trust this. Huh? Is there a... <laughs> Pardon? Do I need to be a ball? Uh, this is the original song from Sonic Adventure. It's called uh, Pleasure Castle. Hmm, this doesn't seem correct. Yeah, I just uh, I just did emotes recently. <laughs> 
sorry, we're the Sonic Information Fact Squad. A uh, fun little fact about this song is that it was originally composed for Sonic 3D Blast and they didn't use it. And, uh... It showed up in this game. I don't think I could leave. Unless I... Yeah, that's a fact that I learned from, uh, well, you know, uh, John Burton, the, I think, founder of Traveler's Tales, um, has been doing some videos under the guise of Game Hut about a development that he did on the old, uh, Sonic spin-off games like Sonic R and Sonic 3D Blast, and, uh, at some point he found a cassette tape that was, like, demos of songs for Sonic 3D Blast, and, uh, one of the songs on there is apparently this song, but, uh, he can't, like, actually post it anywhere, <laughs> because it's... Tangled up in uh, legal tape. Oh man, I cannot get out here. I want to go to Pleasure Castle. Can't believe there's like a weird hole here. Can't even use it. Maybe if we enter the world of darkness? No. Yeah, um, 3D Blast was also, I think, entirely composed by Jun Sonoe, which is the composer for all the Sonic Adventure songs. So he went and revisited some of what I assume were his faves. Alright, well, uh, this stage- oh! Nope. That's just a camera bug. Okay, so we can't do that one. <laughs> can't complete it. Here we are. Wait, that was a Sonic Life Psycon. <laughs> Cadona. Yeah, I guess the Dry Lagoon area is actually very different from this. I must have been misremembering some of the spots being from Mob Canyon. Let's see if we can get out of this stage. Um, it's something to jump off of that's like high up. Yeah, I was just like super wrong because I was specifically remembering like, oh yeah, here's the part with the three heads popping out of the wall. That's from Wild Canyon. I could have did this. Turn off auto cam. Auto cam doesn't help Knuckles at all. I wonder if this stuff works. Oh yeah, you can dig. Okay, you can dig in a wall. See Wild Canyon up there. This is the actual location of these uh, in the proper Wild Canyon geometry scene in Sonic Adventure 2. Hey, how do I get in here? Is there a... Not that one. <laughs> um. Y'all? I think I'm in jail. I think I'm imprisoned here. Maybe, let's see. Uh oh. <laughs> Hang on, we can. Alright, let's, uh. All right, yeah. Okay, we're in a different one now. If we just keep doing this, maybe we can. 
I always feel a little bad doing crimes like this in uh, <laughs> games just like made by other indie devs, but <laughs> it's in my blood. Help. I could donut. Oh, that panel! It's on this wall! <laughs> Sorry, I'm dipshit! <laughs> Alright, I made it out. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't really wanna... Don't really wanna stand up here. I liked climbing better. Uh, <laughs> hmm, all right. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> uh huh. I guess this is encased in a cube for some reason? I don't know if this is like this in SA2. Let's go back inside. Although, wait, I wanna see if I can walk on the bottom. Oh, it's wet! Is there water here in Wild Canyon? What's happening? Huh. All right. Well, let's complete the level. You know how it is. Ain't nobody gonna come here and eat my plate. Metal Harbor, this one should be fun. There's a lot of geometry in this stage. <laughs> That's just a statement. <laughs> Meaningful statement. Whoa! Let's use auto cam for a sec here. Okay. I did see some footage of this game with Tails being playable, so we probably will see a Tails stab. Alright, just sort of taking in the surroundings. There are a few uh, aircraft carriers here that you don't normally go onto in the actual stage. So I wonder if those will be solid here. Not that I know off the top of my head which ones they are, but... Oh, I want to get up there. Oh, that's not solid. It's very high. Oh, okay, that's also not really solid. That's fine. I think that carrier is one you never go on to. But... I think I can get over there. Um, this thing? Oh, what? No collision. That's extremely disappointing. <laughs> I'm feeling hurt. Oh yeah, Light Dash does exist. Gotta keep an eye 
keep an eye out for those hidden mans. Uh, what? Mm. Taking umbrage with this collision. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I bet that's what it was. I bet you could light dash out of it. Oh, we gotta go back and try it. Oh, whoop, mm, eh, whoop. <laughs> It's kind of a weird music loop there. That's, uh... Spyro 2 actually has a lot of really good tech for getting out of bounds. It's one of the few games that has, like... So I've talked about this before, but uh, games typically have like one of two ways of telling if you're underwater or not. They have either a uh, thing where like if you touch the water polygon, you enter water mode, and then if you touch the water polygon again in water mode, leaving it, uh, you enter like land mode. I'm dead. Uh, and Spyro 2 uses that, so like if you can get underwater and then leave the water without actually touching the water polygon again, uh, you can just kind of fly around in the sky. That's very good. Uh, Mario Sunshine also uses that method. I think DK64 also does that. Oh, and uh, the other method is like a, a water area, where there's just like a defined area, like in a cube of water, which is uh, what we've learned that this game does, because we sort of entered the water from below, I think, as Knuckles. Unless we didn't, and I wasn't really paying attention, I've already forgotten. Oh cool, we can see the, <laughs> the weird trash shoot that Sonic goes down on his board. That's not the one I wanted to do. Yeah. I don't like this. So the ice thing, um, since these are animated in keyframes, uh, which means that like every polygon has a set position, uh, like for every frame of the animation, probably they just goofed up and uh, didn't align the eyes right. They're probably like inside the head or something, or some other default position. Here's our music. Let's see if we can pop back out the top of this. Oh, definitely not. That's hard even in SA2. Yeah, the pupils are separate geometry. They're like a few polygons. Oh, really? Is that true to Mania? I guess that makes sense, because like you can't see them. Hey. Hmm. There it is. probably not going to be solid, and I'm probably going to be very disappointed. Ugh! Why'd I even try? <laughs> Whatever, we basically beat it. Oh, but there is a hidden man in that stage. I kind of want to find those mans. But first, let's go to this world? <laughs> oh, it's a knuckle stage. That makes sense. Ugh, kind of a void out there. Yeah, I don't like the sky. There's a sky. I wonder... Ooh, I wonder if we can get over there. Please, please, please. Let me get into that low-poly Rico Harbor. Oh, mm, I fell in a hole. 
hole. Let me get, 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 get. Come here. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Oh, good, and it's got the collision. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> it's scary to look at, but I love it. So glad when things use geometry from Mario Sunshine and they leave this stuff here. <laughs> Look at all this geometry that's like actually there in Sunshine. Here's a Serena Beach, I think, at the hotel. <laughs> Solid. Yes! Maybe this is Serena Beach. One of these is Serena Beach. The other one's like the watermelon world. Oh, this is like the best... <laughs> this is the best explorable version of this map that I've seen. <laughs> I should put the man out here. The hidden man. This is falling apart. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is good. It's a good fan game. Blast. What a Sonic Adventure blast. <laughs> Let's go to the top of Mount Corona. Let's see, this is Rico Harbor. I think that makes this up here. Bianca Hills. Bianco Hills. Whichever it is. Yeah, that's what this is. So this is like the starting area of Bianco Hills. Looks garbage. God, I love that they actually, like, they actually built all this stuff in Mario Sunshine. It's all here. Interesting. And that actually makes sense too, because I feel like the geometry from uh, Smash would actually be easier to rip, probably. Since people are so in those files all the time. This actually has an interior. Oh, no, it doesn't. What's that? Oh, that's the landing strip. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you can... <laughs> I guess you can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll check the Eastern Rocks. Ah, uh, here we are. Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. Famous line of Toadsworth. <laughs> this 
gonna be a long swim back. Okay. I'm glide part of the way. And eat some pizza. <laughs> what are toads worth? I was super into the Shadow of the Colossus exploration back in the day. Uh, this is the Sunshine version of this geometry. Because these aren't the Smash platforms. Oh, I should probably try jumping in the pipe, huh? Pew, pew, pew. Let's see, let's actually look around the town a little bit. We kind of left immediately. Not that there's a lot to see in Delfino Plaza, but... especially shiny shine. Okay, I think that's all that uh, Delfino has to offer us. This is the SA2 version of Green Hill Zone. Which was pretty fun in its day. As a sort of crime feel. Not a crime by the, you know, actual definition, but... <laughs> Definitely felt like a crime. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, for getting every emblem in Sonic Adventure 2, you would unlock this stage. Um, which I never did as a kid, but on the Dreamcast, you could download other people's save files. <laughs> so I, after sort of giving up on getting all emblems, um, or maybe it was all A-Ranks? Did you get emblems for A-Ranks? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, I just downloaded a file. Played it. It's pretty fun. This hole always bugged me. <laughs> like this weird biological hole in the wall. This weird tiny hole. This this metis. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, I guess we just... Ah! Man, I wish this game had a... Moon jump is the word. Alright, we pursued Eggman. No key bay, huh? Now this is a stage that I don't remember <laughs> anything about from Mario Sunshine. Aside from the book, which I don't think will be in the stage, because it's a separate, like, bonus level. So for those who don't know, 
Uh, there's like a bonus level that you can do in Noki Bay in Mario Sunshine where um, I, I don't remember what the the set dressing for it is, like the reason that it happens. But Mario gets shrunk down into a little tiny Mario, and he goes inside of a big, big bottle. And in the bottom of the bottle, um, you're supposed to find red coins or something in there, but in the bottom of the bottle, there's like a weird little structure, and inside of it is a, a polygonal model of a book. Uh, and there's a door that leads into it, but the door doesn't open. And people were agonizing about this freaking book for so long. Uh, during, like, the launch year of Mario Sunshine. Uh, like, what what could it do? What could it unlock? And the secret is that it doesn't unlock anything. Um, which, uh, I don't remember... I mean, probably a bunch of people found it, like, independent of each other, because we didn't have Twitter or YouTube yet, I think. Um, but one of my friends was the first person that I knew that figured out how to clip inside the structure and touch the book. Then I learned that the book held no secrets. Anyway, that's just an early crime story. Uh, what's your sunshine thing that you want to tell? I have no idea how much of the rest of the island geometry is here. It looks like the entirety of Mount Corona is here? Ooh, this should be good. Waluigi Island, huh? I love how... <laughs> I love how Playground Rumors kept trying to give <laughs> the Evil Brothers Islands. Because there was a Playground Rumor for Mario 64, and a uh, early... Oh, that makes a bad sound. An early forums rumor as well, that uh, you could fly out of the Peach's Castle area and get to one of the islands that's in the freaking 2D JPEG background. <laughs> and it was uh, supposedly Wario Island. Oh, Waluigi Island is a thing from Mario Party, okay. Located above scenic Waluigi Seabed. Sorry about all the jumping sounds. Wait, what the? <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's this little spout? What's this little guy for? Oh, you get like a physics boost. I think this is on cutting room floor. I think, uh... I think this oddity is noted on t -curf. The Cutting Room Floor Wiki. My favorite website. Go there if you want to learn about crimes. I guess, like, at the end of the stage that's inside Corona Mountain, you do shoot up through a hole. Man, there's a lot of geometry out here. Oh yeah, I should tweet on the website twitter.com about uh, what's happening so people can see that it's still going. Uh, no Bowser tub, unfortunately. Let's go back to Noki Bay, which is all the way over there. Yikes. Yeah, we're like, we're not even halfway through the stage list, I think. I'm so excited about this. This came out at like the perfect time for me.
It does have sort of a Pilot Wing 64 feel. Oh, that's right! Woohoo Island from like the recent Pilot Wings is actually here! <laughs> that's gonna be fun to explore, because that stage is. I mean, I think there's a bunch of different versions of it, so it might be. If I had to guess, it's probably the Mario Kart 8 track version of Woohoo Island. Um, but there's a lot of stuff there. Uh. Sure. Yee. I don't like that. I still did it. Oh? Yeah. Man, I don't remember anything about this stage. <laughs> Digging this? No. Is there anything cool underwater? Duh. Oh, that's sort of cool. Sorry in stereo. <laughs> That's good. I'm bored of the stage. <laughs> That's sort of where I'm at with Nookie Bay. It's got a weapon sped. So weapon sped is like a worse version of uh, Metal Harbor. I don't know that this one's going to be super interesting. <laughs> Thank you for the... the Woohoo Island fact. I think Weapon Sped is uh, Eggman stage, isn't it? I think Tails and Eggman both have a Metal Harbor. Dang, I don't remember. I've died. Oh, Tails just fights here. Okay. a lot going on in this one. <laughs> Which makes sense, because the mobility of the mech characters in SA2 is bad. Yeah, the sonic jump noise has not... I don't want to say it has an age well, but... I don't know. It's just not great to hear a lot of the time. <laughs> it's better than the Sonic CD version of that sound, though. Um, back in the day, when people were making Sonic fan games in, like, the early aughts, uh, people used to use the Sonic CD version of that jumping sound because it was like a wave file you could pull out of the PC game. Uh, and it's much worse! <laughs> In fact, I wonder if I can just pull that up real quick. Sonic CD jump sound. I could probably just look up Sonic CD long play. I can hear it. Uh, 
Oh boy, the audio in this video is bad. Jump. There it is. It's really bad. Anyway, next we're going to Outside Island? <laughs> Cute. There's no uh, emerald indicator on this stage. Yeah, there are a lot of people that uh, prefer the Sonic City jump sound, and to each their own, but that's alien to me. <laughs> is a world traveler. Oh! oh. <laughs> hmm. Hilarious. Sort of a gamer's reference. Only gamers will get who this could be. <laughs> I'm really liking the sentence, interesting thing you've done, man. Huh. Sorry about my sound that I make when I do a bad polygon thing, by the way. <laughs> it's like... I don't think about that sound at all, it just comes out. Just this deep discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot here, unfortunately, which makes sense. Oh, I wonder if Knuckles can climb this ladder. Yeah. I think this is the third one, so we don't want to grab that yet. Oh wait, but there's another one up there? Maybe it's the second one? Oh, hi, Pretzel. Pretzel's here. <laughs> Actually, now that... No, okay, that's just a smudge on my monitor. <laughs> After you said the entire Wind Waker Island system thing, I thought I saw a cube in the distance and got really excited, but it was just a smudge on my monitor. So... Nuts to that. Mm. It's just a perfectly cube-shaped smudge. Wow. Does Wind Waker HD seriously load the whole thing in one go? That is wild. Okay, um, I'll be right back. I want to go get a bottle of some stuff. So you can listen to, um, what's a good tune? I just typed Google into the YouTube search bar, which is not ideal. Uh, uh, the man on stage select is the hidden man that you can find. Uh, in various of stages. Let's put Sonic Unleashed Empire City Night. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I'll be right back.
This here is Mona Pizza. Makers of the world's best pizza. Fresh sauce and cheese galore. Brought straight to your front door. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, here is yeah. Mona Pizza. Makers of all tasty treats. Our pies crispy, crunchy, crunchy.
Okay, <laughs> that's enough of that. <clears throat> Whew. Um, where's the game? I lost the game. I found the game. All right, uh, let's go to Woohoo Island. Oh, thank you about the background. That's something I made for a game a thousand years ago, and I just kind of reuse it whenever I need a uh, scrolling background for something. Okay, it's the Mario Kart version of Woohoo. Mm. Yes, alright. No! Oh, ah! Yeah! Hmm! <laughs> Not fully solid. <laughs> uh, this is the Mario Kart version of Woohoo Island. Featured in various other Wii and me related products. I didn't... Oh, I did. <clears throat> For a second there, I thought I didn't uh, enable my mic again. I also love sports. Can I get on this? There's no reason I would be able to get on this, but... That's fine. I poured myself a regular person-sized glass of wine, also. Because I don't own any wine glasses, so I just sort of, you know, like sort of the kind of glass that you would put like a frosty cup of milk in, is what I'm drinking this from. Hotel. It's a white wine, it's a Riesling. Candy wine, basically. There's a whole beach out here, hang on. Ugh. I'm really glad that so many other people have, like, childhood and teenhood desires to, like, explore uh, video game areas on foot. Oh, famous location. I love that this uses the 2D sonic uh, splash sound. Yes, the uh, the, the Mario 64 um, Peach's Castle in Royal Raceway is another like huge like feels weird to refer to it this way, but it was like a holy grail to me as a kid. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta get in there. What's in there? And the answer is nothing, of course, but the fact that they just used the Mario 64 geometry and sort of modified the surrounding area. Really lit my mind ablaze as a small chess. This is a little bit trickier with Sonic than with Knuckles. Oh, is that as high as we go? Yeah, seems... Ooh. Oh, fucking ha! Uh, don't want to fall in there. That's not rendered. Right, let's go back down. <laughs>
Boundary Break is a very fun YouTube series for this sort of thing. I always prefer to explore places on foot if I can, but taking a camera outside of the boundaries and sort of seeing what's there is the next best thing. Oh, this is cool. So here's like the part you drive on. You just be out here. Let's just go above. It's sort of Sonic's way. I'm glad there's Mario Kart tracks in here. Oh, there's that man! I see him! How? How to reach that man? I don't know. Ruins? Oh yeah! This is uh, one of the shortcuts. Mm. Mm, I didn't like it. <laughs> that man! Alright, let's get back there. A dark shadow. <laughs> the shadow of that man looms over Woohoo Island. Isle of Man. <laughs> True. Welcome back from Burger's Realm. Oh, Jedi Knight has a lot of good stuff. That's a game that I hadn't seen anything about until watching it on uh, various GDQs. What is this for? <laughs> I wonder if this has some kind of purpose within a Wii Sports game. One of the Woohoo Island things. Or wait, is this a driving path? No, this is just the driving path. That's right, okay. There's probably like a ramp there. Like a launch ramp. In Mario Kart. That must have been when I fell through. that man, <laughs> but I don't know how to get him. There's like no way I could get him from here. <laughs> Ramp hole. Oh, it's part of, uh, it's for mayonnaise hole, the famous, <laughs> the famous sport of Wii sports. Oh man, I don't think I can get out there. There's gotta be, like, some mobility secret that I'm missing. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe you can play as Knuckles here. The yeah, other missions. That's right. That's probably what it is. We'll come back. After completing our lap around the track. Yeah, I forgot there were other missions. So, uh, we discovered there actually is a light speed dash. Um... Wait. That's another man. That's another of the man. <laughs> Thank you! It's great to be here. God, okay, there's two men? Two of the man? Two of that man? Famous man? A certain man? Well, now it's time to die. <laughs> I'm experimenting. So there's two buttons that you can use to do a spin dash. Two separate ones. I'm trying to see if there's anything weird you can do by alternating them. Because they're distinct inputs. Because one of them does the bounce attack in the air and the other one doesn't. So I wonder if you can get like a... if you can double dip on spin dash speed or something. Seems...
seems no, though. So I forget, in Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, there's two Woohoo Island stages, right? There's like Woohoo Island and Woohoo Island Loop? Is that right? Which one of them had the weird, the shortcut that ruined the game? <laughs> Evan will probably know this. Oh, there's a... Oh, it's just a hole. I thought it was a secret pool. Maka Woohoo and Woohoo Loop, that's right. So do... Oh, these are supposed to be like... Probably supposed to be uh, windmills, right? Um... So are those supposed to be on the same island? Maka Woohoo and Woohoo Island? Woohoo Loop? Because I wonder, like, where on this geometry the other one would have been. Ah, okay. I'm thinking of Dr. Woohoo. Dr. Woohoo's mountain. I'm afraid to touch this. I don't trust it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna touch it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're safe here. Ah! Alright, let's leave this world. We had a nice time here on Woohoo Island. It's time to leave it. Time to leave it behind. Wait, I passed the... <laughs> so this is how it does it. I wonder when it checks. I wonder if there's like a, a spot, an invisible collider that you pass through halfway around where it places these. Pew! Dalb. Yeah, the former me, currently human thing of Nikki is fun. Now here's a weird one. This is a Majora's Mask map. <laughs> Why am I Sonic here? I would have expected this to be a Knuckles one. This one uh, definitely feels more crime than the rest. Alright, time to go in here and upgrade our sword. That's a window. <laughs> That's not a door. I want to get on the roof. I was actually thinking the other day <laughs> about uh, how I want Quest 64 geometry in one of these sorts of things. Because it's such a huge empty world. It might be actually fun to explore it in an engine that sort of is conducive to it. I want to go in the chimney, but I don't think I've got the power. Oh. Okay, there's nothing in there. Confirmed. <laughs> I feel like he's died. Oh, here we go! Oh, 
Yeah, let's go in. Uh, mm, mm, that's bad to look at. Oh, mm, uh, okay. Well, now we're inside. <laughs> Roll it on your cone. Create your own zone. Let's see, what else is here? <laughs> Santa? They do exist. Is this where I came from? Or is this the path to the Goron area? I think this is where I came from. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Coincidentally, this is the same problem I have with this area in the actual game, which is being unable to remember which of these entrances is which. Decidedly not wet. Oh, there's one of these. Spread your wings. He won't. He's embarrassed. Oh, this is here. Oh, there's the man! I see him. I know that he's here. I sense it in my feet. <laughs> Great certain man's power allows me to feel. What if you struck the certain man and he spread his wings, and then you could warp to him at any time? I guess we can just go to Snowhead Temple, huh? I wonder if this is going to be the uh, stage end. This is weird. This is a weird one. He hugs you when you get there, and then you are safe, and everything's fine. Uh, what does it look like? Oh, alright. Does it look like when we mess with the skybox here? Ah! Oh, the, like, background appears. Spooky. Let's take it back, though. Like teeth. Oh, <laughs> he's here. Oh, frick, was I actually supposed to like do what the stage description was? Oh, goodbye. Farewell. Mm. Alright. So now we have to actually find a baby child. <laughs> These old boners! Plural! So this is... Is this the way to where I just was? No, this is... Oh, this is the way to Goron Town. This is the way to the Goron Racetrack. Man, is all this stuff really on the same map? I absolutely don't remember it being like that. I thought there were transitions. Not positive, but I think I just heard a baby cry. Ah! There he is. He's here. <laughs> A 
meeting of the minds. Excuse me, fellas. What did you need a powder keg for? Oh, this is crime. Ah! Oh, water? Alright. <laughs> it's gonna take a hundred years to get back there, but let's go. Sometimes crime doesn't pay. That's sort of the thing. It's always a gamble. Also, where's the waterfall here while well, I'm in this main area? Is there any way to get up this? Do they put any weird platforms? No. Might be able to get up there if I scale some of this. Uh, some of this. for my efforts. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll leave. So now we know that there could be multiple men. pile doesn't stop from increasing. Oh, this is the exit. Or the entrance. He <laughs> puts the man in many. He is a bit of a sans, isn't he? He's doing the pose. Mans. Okay, I definitely hear the baby crying. Oh! I guess you can just go through that. Or, wait, okay. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Where is the wretched child? Oh, there it is. Oh, frick. Sonic is really not the one for the job here. View. There's a man down there. I see him. I know he's there. Oh. He's right there. There's so many mans in this stage. I probably need knuckles for this, though. Or tails. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I've had enough of this. don't trust the invisible paths. I don't trust that they'll be there. Okay, so now we go to Snowhead. 
Wave as we pass this man by. Oh yeah, for sure. Honestly, like, the N64 is extremely scary. <laughs> Just by... by default. There's no spookier 3D space to inhabit. That was a lot. Sandhill. Uh, this one should be fun. Because there's a lot of geometry in this one. And it's all at an angle, which means it's very easy to climb. Oh, Alright, I'm psyched for this one, actually. Oh, come on. I want to get up very high. Sort of my MO right now. <laughs> She's wild for this one. That's true. Uh, I wonder... This mess is probably easier to climb. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, there's no... nothing up there. Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> So something that's fun is Sonic and Tails have different starting points, I think, for this stage. Yeah, here's this one. Um, when you're playing in the actual game, it's really hard, <laughs> but you can actually go backwards up to this other one, depending on uh, which one you start at. I think it's Sonic and Tails having different start points. I think that's what it is. I was convinced for a while that uh, this was fully unused, because it looks like a lot less polished than the other one. Um, but I th think it's for one of them. I think it's for Sonic or Tails. Whichever one doesn't use this. Anyway. Or it might be like the story mode version versus the trial mode version. This is actually from Sonic Adventure 1. This is one of uh, Tails' stages. Oh yes, this has collision! I'm so- wait. Hang on. Oh, it has collision, but it's really steep. I have to be careful. Ah, hmm. ah! I've made a mistake! The room. Why is there water here? I wonder if this person uh, just put water at the bottom of all the stages by default. And they just raise it up if they need it. Go fast! <laughs> Alright, I've always wanted to get up here. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, that's cool. You can see whole everything from up here. Stage is a lot smaller <laughs> than I thought. Uh, fun fact, cool little fact about me, normal human girl chess, um, is I've had dreams about getting up here! <laughs> and also about finding like other hidden uh, parts of the stage that don't actually exist. I have a lot of dreams about 
crime exploring in games. Honestly. I think there's. I don't remember if it's actually back here. I think you can get behind this, or you can glitch into this in the proper Sonic Adventure one. And. Oh, there's nothing back here. Okay. Well, anyway, you can glitch into this. <laughs> Normally. But you can't do it here. I love how this person's solution to, like, making clear areas is, like, just putting a bunch of this sign. Um, I haven't made a full 3D game, like, to completion with uh, crime ability in it, but you better believe that when I do get around to it, there's gonna be collision on everything that you want there to be collision on. Oh! It's a road that you go. This isn't the rainbow road I was expecting. Oh, there's water. You can probably do this skip. But I don't know the skip well enough to do it. <laughs> Glad we're all just... <laughs> Speaking the words of Rainbow Road, of the road that you go. I feel like it's a line that people don't highlight as much as the others, but I really love the phrase, I'll miss you again, uncle. Something about, like, I'll miss you again. It's just good. It's just good comedy. I wonder if this star has collision. It's probably, like, my duty to find out, but I don't feel confident in my ability to get over there. Oh. Well, it does have collision, but <laughs> probably should have done this from the other side. <laughs> Uh, this is where we live now. Huh? Oh. Ah. We do it. Alright. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a man here. There's definitely not a man on every stage. <laughs> okay, so quick view behind the scenes here. We have auto mod on in the chat, and a message that it just auto modded was, you know it's a serious crime when they didn't even put a man there. And the reason that it auto modded it was sexual. <laughs> on Earth, Twitch. Also, sorry for highlighting your chat message. Oh, right, 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 right. That's why. <laughs> well, now... Now you're all... <laughs> I'll allow these. Oh yeah, you're right. The alpha... Hmm. Now that you've pointed out the alpha is sort of messing with the water. Hey Evan, can you see the uh, chat auto mod things? You should be able to say the F word. I had Evan uh, turn up auto mod just in case, because it's easier to sort of fix rather than... Or sort of easier to prevent rather than to fix, but... 
Okay, cool. Thank you. I've been paying like half attention to them. Feet. <laughs> it's not the word. Oh, missed it. Pipe was a bad word? That's a cuss? Yeah, keep it what it's set on, IMO, and just, we'll sort of sort through it. I think as we allow things, it, uh, it modifies the list of stuff that's okay. <gasps> oh, this is a good one! But I have to use the bathroom, so I'll be right back, uh, and then we'll do Peach's Castle. How many more do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven <laughs> stages left, everybody. This is jam-packed with fun for the whole family. Anyway, I'll be right back. Uh, let me, I'll find some music, don't worry about it. I can't think of any music. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. I, uh, thought of one. Hang on, I gotta find it. It's taking too long to find the specific song I was thinking of, so I'm just gonna put something else on. Sorry, bye. I'll be right back.
Hello, I'm back. I have eaten another slice of pizza and finished off my wine glass and poured another one. So who's ready for Peach's Castle? Oh, this isn't the one I was expecting. But I think that's actually probably better because this one has a lot more geometry. You're gonna love this one. 
I'm actually uh, fairly well acquainted with the, the outside geometry of this stage. Um, due to another... Weirdly enough, another Sonic fan game <laughs> that has... Uh, sort of lets you run around in this. But yeah, check this out. Once we get in there. So this is, uh, for those who don't know, from the intro to Super Mario's Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii console. Uh, normally what happens is you run through here and then you get to the castle and then uh, Bowser comes and messes everything up by being a giant wizard. That's just a real bummer for everyone involved. But here, we don't have to worry about such things. And we can explore all this geometry that's out here. Uh, and a complete silence, apparently. Hang on, I'm gonna just fix this. Um, you know, let's just bring up freaking Mario Galaxy OST Extended. We'll fix this loop ourselves. Mm, these aren't in order. Ah! Here, let's just, uh, I know one. It's not from this game, but it'll do. Seems like good music for running around, exploring. bit though. It's a bit higher than it was. Yeah, I made sure to pick the version that has the beeps. And the crunches. You know, this might actually have less of the geometry than the actual... The actual rip of this map. There's normally a lot more out here, I think. Still a considerable amount, but. Oh well. Let's go home. I would put the man over here, and he would give you uh, 99 extra lives and a sparkling triple jump. It's a gamer's reference. wonder if we can get up to the top here. That's a Yoshi you've placed in my chat. Yasi. I got- oh! That's actually where the act end is! Um, I got really good at putting the balloon up here in Luigi's Balloon World. I think probably everybody's really good at that now. Koopa Beach! Oh! It's a Mario Kart 64. I, like, desperately want a standalone Balloon World game that's like... So, okay. Indulge me for a second. So imagine a sort of really basic 3D world, uh, like a level builder, like a Mario Maker thing. But, like, just sort of Basic shapes, cubes, slopes, moving platforms, etc. And you set 
a starting point, a Balloon World starting point. And then you upload your stage with like an initial route to a balloon or whatever. And then other people can play your stage and find your original balloon, but also the content expands as they all place their own balloons. I think that would be really good! I think that'd be a really fun idea for like a whole game. I want it. Like, I like the idea of having sort of the content creation of Mario Maker bundled in with the much lower effort, but still, you know, really... It provides a, like, a lot of gameplay uh, value of uh, placing the balloons from Balloon World. It'd just be good. There's a tunnel here. Yeah, something like stylizum like Mario Sunshine bonus levels where you pick a hitbox, or not a hitbox, sorry, that's the fully wrong word. Pick a skybox and uh, like a, a music and like maybe a platform theme kind of thing. I've had too much wine and now I'm getting very passionate about Luigi's Balloon World. Hey, this stage is very small. Did you know? Yeah, Sonic's, like, huge here. <laughs> I wonder if we can get on top of this guy. We can wedge ourselves in. Also, my, uh, my dream for a Luigi's Balloon World standalone game would be that you would play as a me. I've killed him. I want to play as a me with Mario's animations. And Luigi's there, and he has his bow tie. A me! A Super Mario's Nintendo me. Like Healthy. Well, Healthy's not a me anymore, but he was born a me. Like Swap Note Nikki. Oh, yes, a me that can wear all the Mario costumes! That would be ideal. No, Healthy was born a me, not in me. Although he was born within me, in a sense. Hey, let's go to Firefield. <laughs> oh wow! This owns actually. <laughs> so yeah, this is a stage from F Zero GX. Man, F Zero GX Firefield doesn't really have the same uh, feeling music wise. Yeah, F Zero GX was a Sega jam. They did an incredible job on it. Is this solid? No. Yeah, that's sort of the thing of this engine is that uh, so far I kind of feel like there are things that other 3D Sonic engines do better control-wise. But um, also this one has the benefit of being extremely simple. <laughs> easy to play, easy to control. And it has very fun stages that they've chosen to showcase the engine with. I'm honestly sort of expecting Black Shadow as an Echo Fighter. Like, if not Black Shadow, then probably Blood Falcon, because that's, like, a no-brainer. Uh, but also... Ganondorf... Well, they did change his smash attacks, but... Ganondorf was already sort of a Captain Falcon, but stronger. <laughs> slower. And I can't really imagine what Blood Falcon or Black Shadow would be besides that.
But also, that's probably because I don't know uh, F-Zero lore that well, so for all I know, they could have, like, different moves and stuff. Uh, we're not really on our fourth Marth. Roy is a completely different character outside of his special moves. <laughs> It's very easy to look at some of the, like, Dr. Mario and Roy tier clone characters and say, like, oh, it's just a clone, but you gotta trust me. Roy was once a Marth. An ascended Marth. Just like in the F-Zero stage. <laughs> see, that's the kind of opinion, that's the kind of attitude that I want to see towards Roy. He's, he's a good boy. He does his best. Yeah, Ganon is definitely an Ascended Falcon at this point. And Wolf, who people insist is a Fox clone, is absolutely not. Could not be more different from Fox. I mean, could be more different from Fox, but... Outside of the special moves being themed similarly, does not play at all the same. Sorry, I'm very... Again, I've had the wine. I'm very passionate about the characters of Super Smash Brothers. Oh, I love Richter. Richter's good. I'm glad he's here. Yeah, Lucas is, like, hardly a Ness... a Nessa-like. How many laughs am I supposed to do in this stage? I'm super excited for Wolf in the new Smash Brothers. I've missed him so much. Wolf was my main in Brawl, even though he wasn't like especially good. Um, there are a few things, a few changes to uh, Fox and Falco that happened in Smash 4 that make me very hopeful for Wolf. Like for instance, uh, Wolf's recovery in uh, Brawl was pretty rough because you would use his up B, and uh, he loses all of his horizontal momentum after reaching his end point. Uh, and you have like a second or so before you can like start inputting horizontal directions. Um, so like you'd get sort of close to the stage and then just fall straight down. But uh, one, I don't think they'd let that slide in Smash Ultimate, but also Fox and Falco don't use their, uh, they don't lose their recovery from using side B anymore. So I think Wolf would also gain that recovery advantage. That's just great. How do I leave this stage? I wonder if it wants me to do like three laps. I'm not going to. <laughs> Bye. Um, I will find the lost pieces of the Master Emerald here. Duh! Oh no, I've committed. Eww. Mm, I hate to look at it! Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. How deep? Oh. <laughs> okay, if you go... If you go a little too far down, you will die. Uh, Third-party characters? My biggest hope. Also, I've just noticed, by the way, sorry that you are the top bit contributor with 420 bits, so thank you very much. Thank you, Gemini, <laughs> for your meme number. Um, but uh, the third-party character that I'm hoping for uh, the most in Smash Ultimate is... Goemon. From the Ganbari Goemon series. I feel like... He's got the importance in the history of video games. Uh, he sort of fills the like retro representative that Sakurai likes to put in the games. Uh, and he's got a lot of opportunities for like different cool moves and like taunts and stages. Like he's just a perfect package. And uh, I would just really love to see him in there. The fact that we already have uh, Snake and Castlevania guys in there now makes me think probably there's 
no chance, but that's my dream. Yeah, Klonoa. Klonoa is probably my second choice. Um, and that one, I feel like, you know, I want to say there's a pretty good chance. But not like a, not maybe not a good chance, but a <laughs> could happen in our lives. Maybe DLC. Waluigi, I feel indifferent toward. <laughs> My main thing of Waluigi is I can't think of... Unless they went full sports with him, I can't really think of uh, what they would do with him to make him distinct from the other characters. Or, well, it's, you know, it's easy to think of what they could do, but... I don't know what they could do and make it, like, interesting, worth developing a fully new character for. Gino is sort of one of my expectations. I really hope that Gino's in there. I don't know that ARMS is going to get any representation, honestly, outside of maybe uh, regular trophies. I think the development cycles just didn't match up right for it. Oh, my video game has crashed. Oh no, it hasn't crashed. Oh, we're Tails! We haven't seen this boy yet. Oh man, can we climb on all this geometry? Hello. Time to find out. Let's freaking go. Alright, promising, promising. Holding my breath. <gasps> this is a dream. This is a dream come true. Let's go. Can I just be Tails in all the other stages? Because this is... This is far and away the best control scheme for climbing. For climbing. Climbing and climbing. God, is there a man out here? <laughs> Can you imagine if there's a man hidden out here somewhere? Oh yeah, Tails could get to add Dawn easy. Well, you could do this in Sonic 06 with the gems, but you couldn't actually like walk on any of this. It wasn't solid. That's that's where the real wonder comes into play. <laughs> Born on a mountain, raised in a cave. Climbing and climbing is all I crave. That's me. That's my theme song. Okay. Other than the flying tails, just has the regular spin dash. We're not going to see any of the regular parts of the stage. Hey, while we're talking about it... Well, we're talking... Well, we didn't... It's been a while since we brought it up, but... While we're talking about sonic sound effects that are bad... I want to talk about Tails' flight sound. The stupid putt-putt sound. It's very bad. I think even Mania uses this sound, and it's just dreadful. It's just a bad sound to hear a lot of. I'm sorry if that's controversial, but that's how I feel. Is this the SAT version? That makes sense. We're, like, we're still near the intro of the stage. Uh oh. Mm. Oh, mm, nah. I die. He has not dabbed yet, but I have confidence, have faith. I think Shadow is probably a likely assist- or not assist, uh, sorry, Echo Fighter. Because we haven't seen his, uh, assist trophy, and he's the same as Sonic the Hog. 
Um, but if they do, I really hope that he has his uh, yellow-orange aura from SA2, and not like a purple or a red or something. Man, Kingdom Valley has a lot of geometry out here. Yeah, I feel confident that Sakurai would go back and use the orange aura, but then here's the thing. Here's the thing that causes me to cast a little doubt on Sakurai's taste when it comes to Sonic, is that he gave Knuckles a homing attack. And that's just weird to me. I feel it's a, sm it's a very small betrayal, but it does feel like a little bit of a betrayal. I'm bothered by it because I have thoughts. Like, what would even the input be for Knuckles' homing attack? <laughs> if you press jump again, he glides. I think I wouldn't be as bothered by Knuckles' homing attack if he assumed the gliding position while doing it. And that's the thing that would get me on board. There's so much geometry in the stage, y'all! I'm having a blast just sort of existing out here. Yeah, okay, so, uh, Cynidia, I feel like that's the thing, um, is that Sakurai probably doesn't have that much sway over how much, or how the, uh, third-party developers' characters are presented, so probably, uh, probably things like Knuckles doing a homing attack is up to Sega. In fact, you know what? I bet in something like, uh, I don't know, for instance, Sonic Runners or whatever, I bet Knuckles can do a homing attack there. I bet Sega doesn't even think it's a big deal. Oh, that makes sense. He probably did do it in Rivals, yeah. Hey, where's this? <laughs> oh! Oh no, I've made a mistake. I can't fly from this state. Ah. Uh... I guess there's ground out here. Yeah, Pokemon licensing is also sort of a nightmare, I hear. The fact that, like... Oh, no, I'm dead. The Pokemon property is caught up in red tape between, like, it's like two or three separate corporate entities in reality. You think it's just like, oh, it's Nintendo, they can do whatever they want, it's first party, but the Pokemon company uh, introduces a lot of snags in that regard. Hey! Anyone else remember when they first announced Sonic 06? And they used this island, this floating island here, and there were like some crates on it. They showed off like, you can change the time of day. They stood here with Sonic and they were like, <laughs> they did this basically? <laughs> well, didn't do that, but. And then Sonic uh, bopped the crates and knocked them into some robots or whatever, or vice versa. That was cool. I got really excited about Sonic 06 from that video. And now I'm still excited about it for very different reasons.
yeah, those bricks are still there in the final game. <laughs> actually just like beat the stage like as a fun gimmick if we complete the stage uh oh i think a lot about like sonic 06 with uh, proper qa testing and you know sort of the iterative iterative development that it would have needed to be good and i think it would have been a very good game i think it would have been a solid uh, sonic adventure 3 but instead, it's sort of like the the good but questionable parts of Sonic Adventure. Like the crime parts, without really any of the good parts. Let's leave this world. I love Sonic 06, though. Oh, there it is! There he goes! Evan, you can use that as a... you can gift that or something, and it can be you. Let's go to Pumpkin Hill. It's not wrong to like Sonic Heroes. But I do think it is an objectively bad game. However, that's just my opinion. I tried playing it again recently, and it just didn't. It just kind of didn't go very good. I was extremely excited for Ray and Mighty and Mania. And honestly, not disappointed by him. Uh, Ray has like some of the the most fun mobility ever in a 2D Sonic, I think. Oh. This stage is fun in concept um, because it's Pumpkin Hill and it's got the funny meme song. But honestly, there's not really like <laughs> there's no crimes to be done here. So here's an interesting thing regarding, for instance, Silver and Blaze and Mania, is that uh, I think Sega considers Mania and Classic Sonic as a whole to be a separate series at this point, and I don't think that Ray and Mighty will appear outside of Classic Sonic games. I think they are classic characters at this point. I think that's just the world that we live in now. God, I want to stream Billy Hatcher sometime. Uh, I think that would be a really good one. I don't know where I took us. I was thinking about Billy Hatcher. Let's go to Radical Highway. <laughs> Ba 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 oh, yikes! Ah! Meow. Meow. Is there no kill plane here? Oh, I bet it's really low. Yeah. It's low because of the later parts of the level. Can we walk on this? This is another crime that I've always wanted to do. Oh jeez, we're gonna have to go, like, slow and steady. Somehow. Classic Sonic is one of those uh, ideas for an Echo Fighter that I think is plausible because of the low amount of work done, or that would be required. Um, but also, I think for the most part, uh, the sort of the definition of Echo Fighter is a little bit muddy still. But it seems like uh, things that are required are like one different voice clips that makes a separate Echo Fighter. Uh, two different taunts. Sakurai made a really big point of this in a recent column, and that's actually interesting to me, but um, not really something I thought about before. But like taunts are something that an Echo Fighter has unique. Uh, and then potentially like move parameters and animations. Um, and I don't think Classic Sonic would require any of those. I think you could pretty much just make Classic Sonic a uh, straight-up costume. Sorry that I'm gonna keep doing this and there's absolutely nothing at the finish line. 
but... <laughs> okay. In here. Oh, nuts. Okay, I'll actually stop doing that now. Alf isn't promoted to Echo because Alf doesn't need a voice, I think. I think that's the thing that keeps him a costume. After hearing what Sakurai sort of considers to be the uh, the traits of Echo Fighters, I think that's what does it. God, I would love a Brittany Echo Fighter. <laughs> She's a very cute design. Oh, the Koopa Kids do have their own voices! Hey, hang on! <laughs> Hello! That's a good point. So voices really aren't even... Although, here's the thing, Koopa Kid voices are all reused from Mario Kart. They don't have to re record anything new for them. I wonder if that's a special case. Oh, can I get on top of this, please? Yes! Another dream achieved. Oh jeez, I've freaked it. Ah! Bad! Bad! So yeah, they, they have voices, but they don't have taunts, and all their moves are the same. God, can you imagine if all the the kids were, like, slightly different? Oh, you know what? I don't know that the Knights building is here. I think normally the big Knight's head would be... Oh, that's right, male, female, corn, and robin are another... Hmm. Echo Fighters are a very muddy territory. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah, they would need, uh, need their own costume sets. Yeah, I don't think the knight's head is here. That building seems conspicuously absent. Yeah, I feel like Crom. So, here's... Crom, I feel like, is in sort of the Dr. Mario territory, where, like, I previously thought Dr. Mario wasn't in the Echo Fighter category because, like, oh, he's got a unique down B that's sort of like Luigi's, but different. And he has, like, some of Mario's moves from Melee instead of the moves that Mario has come to have in later entries. But now, like, I kind of feel like Dr. Mario and Crom are on the same level of uniqueness. And it's kind of throwing out my whole worldview. Entirely. <laughs> Just in all aspects of my life. I don't know where Dr. Mario stands in relation to Crom from Fire Emblem. And like, for all we know, Dr. Mario could be a bit more different now too, because like his his forward B, the uh, sheet looks, like, significantly different now, and I don't know if that's just visuals, or if it functions a little bit different. Um, oh boy, it's messy. Can I... <gasps> nope. Um, and then, like, he's got a new down air, he has a Ganondorf stomp instead of a melee Mario twist kick. Who knows what could be different in Super Dr. Mario's world? In Super Dr. Mario's world! Yeah, Mario wears his cape now, and then uh, Dr. Mario swings the sheet upward from the ground, and it leaves like a wind trail, which I can't... I mean, it's only been seen once in footage, but it's hard to tell if that's um, just for visuals to make sure that the sheet like has a presence 
as long as the hitbox lasts, or if the wind has like a windbox effect, or if it lasts longer than Mario's cape for reflecting purposes. I don't know. I'm doing very bad because I'm thinking a lot about Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is uh, one of my mains in Smash 4, so I'm really excited to see how he's changed. He's a changed man. What if we can go... What if we go up here? Oh, nope. Bad. This part of the stage seems ill-conceived for Sonic. The canon of Dr. Mario, as far as I'm concerned, is that when Super Mario, everyone's favorite hero, uh, joined the Smash Brothers series, uh, it was deemed unfair for him to have such detailed knowledge of uh, anatomy, because it allowed him to excel in the fight, because he knew exactly where to strike to disable his enemies. And Master Hand said, look, Mario. He didn't say anything, because he doesn't talk, aside from laughing. Uh, but he told Mario, like, if you want to enter the tournament for this, this entry melee, I'm going to need you to give up your doctor knowledge. And Master Hand split Mario into Dr. Mario and Super Mario. And uh, that's just how it's been ever since. They're separate creatures now. And that's why Dr. Mario is like, he's slower but more powerful, because he's striking at like the weak points. He knows where to hit Bowser Koopa to uh, kill him and take his life. And he's gonna take his time getting there. Because <laughs> it's fine. Donkey Kong Jr., I don't really have uh, thoughts on. Also, here's the building that normally has the knight's head on it, and it doesn't have the knight's head on it. But I will tell you about my thoughts about Donkey Kong, the man himself, the leader of the bunch, whom, <laughs> let's not kid ourselves, you know him well. Um, so Donkey Kong, uh, you know how he's got his own island that's shaped like his own head, right? So the thing with Donkey Kong is I believe that he was banished from the world of man to an island shaped like his own head, which is man-made, in order to appease him. Because Donkey Kong is a being of chaos. I think that Donkey Kong, like as seen in, you know, the classic Donkey Kong game, he's a troublemaker. But also as seen in, for instance, the um, Donkey Kong Country Returns games, he's a, he's a destructive force. He's extremely powerful. Like, he can't just go through a stage. He has to, like, tear it apart while he does it. And I think that when he roamed the human world, this was a huge problem. So I think that uh, Mankind banished Donkey Kong to an island shaped like his own head that they built for him to keep him there. And they put things like dull bananas there. They put things like uh, Goodyear tires buried in the ground to keep him occupied on DK Island where he lives. Um, and I think that's true. Hey, we beat all the worlds. So let's see. Is there any... I want to see... Oh, okay, so we can just pick the other... the other missions. So what was one? Snowhead. Find the Lost Chow. Oh, we're still Sonic. This sucks. There's no way we'll be able to get to the other mans with Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't want to be here. Let's see. Let's go to a, a nice place to just hang out while I talk about Donkey Kong. Um, probably Woohoo Island, right? So, um, as much as I want to hang out and talk about Donkey Kong more, I think I should probably end the stream, because it's been three hours. 
And we have played all the stages of Sonic Adventure Blast. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is that... I think... Oh, wait, the Twinkle Park thing! That's right! That's right! We still have an excuse! I forgot. Thank you. Where was it? It's way back here. Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, everybody, you're not actually free yet. <laughs> we have to run through this long-ass, boring Twinkle Park stage. <laughs> also, I think I'm gonna play Tekken after this. It's probably a bad idea because of the amount of liquid wine that I have in me, in my body and soul. But it seems like it'd be fun. Uh, but that'll be probably, uh, I probably won't have voice on for that, because that's just sort of the way. Tekken is a text-only game. It's Saturday, I gotta do what I want in my life, which is to play Tekken while some people watch me. That's a big jump I just did. Wario is an elf. Confirmed. 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 Waluigi also an elf. Confirmed. Actually, Walu- well, mm. Yeah, no, they're both elves. Confirmed. Hylians? Now this I hadn't considered. If- no <laughs> wait, okay, you just said if Norman Reedus can be in Tekken, but I don't think Norman Reedus is in Tekken? <laughs> Did they put Norman Reedus in Tekken? I haven't explained Royals and Thralls, but I feel like that requires a little more time than we have right now. But wait, is Negan Ror Norman Reedus? Neg Negan? Okay, it's not Reedus. At some point I have to explain to everybody uh, my theory well, mine and Ashley's theory of royals and thralls within the Super Mario universe. It's a whole science behind it. And Donkey Kong is involved. Or, well... Yeah, he's involved. He's not part of the same system, but... Alright, let's try this. Yeah, it works! Oh, it's very bad. I think I'm in a bad state to explain the Royals and Thralls thing. Oh god, we're here. We're in Pleasure Castle. The fun fact about this stage is that I haven't seen most of it in a very long time because uh, in the actual game, Sonic Adventure. So in, in that tower there, in that hole where we started, um, in actual Sonic Adventure, you can just jump out of there and pop out here. <laughs> and then from here, you can just do a few crimes and just sort of spin dash up the rest of the level without seeing most of it. I guess you can kind of do that here, too. So this is a stage I don't see a lot of the regular path of. Healthy is absolutely not a royal. <laughs> Healthy is a me, or was a me. Honestly, like, Sonic Adventure is the game that sort of introduced, like, the concept of, uh, criming to me. And also, honestly, like, it was a really early example of a game where I could look at it and see, like... Why is this here? Uh, a really early example of a game where I could look at it and sort of see how it was made. Like, I could sort of understand the, the underlying game logic. Figure out why things happened the way they did. And it's a big part of what made me interested in making games. There's water down here. I love Sonic Adventure very much. Alright, so Royals and Thralls. <laughs> we'll just get into it. So... Ashley, help. You can't help me. You're in the world of chat, which is like 20 seconds behind where I'm living. Um, 
So let's just start with some examples. Princess Peach is a royal. She is sort of a ruler that... Yeah, come over here real quick. I don't know if you'll be able to be heard over the microphone, but... It'll probably help a little bit. Yeah, come here. <clears throat> Alright, so the microphone's right here. You'll have to maybe speak into it, I don't know. Hey everybody, it's me, special guest. It's Ashley. Ashley's here to help me uh, explain royals and thralls. So, <laughs> um, the thing is, is that I don't know how to start explaining this. Okay, so I think we can start just by saying that most creatures in Mario's world, most beings, are either royals or thralls. Yeah. Most of them are thralls, That's obviously. true. Let me, the music is just stopped, so let me find, what's a good music for this? Um, a good, ex a good a explanation. Good explanation music. Oh, wait. It's uh, <laughs> Super Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly the song. Exactly the one. Okay, so this is the this is the song for explaining things about Super Mario. <laughs> okay, so um, most beings of Mario's world mm -hmm. are thralls. Yeah, that's true. So and like usually presided over by royals or bound to a land. Yeah. So for instance, Toad and his various ilk are thralls. They are aspects of Princess Peach, Princess Toadstool, who is the ruler of the Mushroom People. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we also have, like, for instance, uh, oh, the music is too loud to hear. <laughs> I'll shrink it. I'll shrink the music down to be smaller. <laughs> um, so we've determined that the Thralls basically have there's just kind of, they're kind of spontaneously like generated by the will of royals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They aren't necessarily like independent beings that are ruled over by a royal. Yeah. So like for instance, uh, Bowser Koopa is also a royal, and his thralls, his natural thralls, are the Koopa Troopas and such. So like those things that sort of are reflections of Bowser Koopa's uh, personal being, those are Bowser's thralls. Um. Up. But uh, Bowser Jr. is a royal, right? Uh, Bowser Jr. is a royal, yes. Okay. But he has not yet inherited... Uh, did we have a word for, like, a kingdom? Like a... Um, a domain? A domain. Oh, right, domain. That was it. So, yeah, he hasn't yet inherited the domain, so I don't think Bowser Jr. has thralls yet. But if he does inherit the domain, he will uh, He will have thralls. Uh, oh. Princess Toadstool also has inherited her domain. So it's... For instance, we've seen Peach's uh, father, the king of the Mushroom Kingdom, depicted in various... Uh, in various media, and he's usually like a mushroom man, so like it sort of makes sense that the the toads and stuff are a reflection of him rather than her. Um, something else that's important uh -huh. is that uh, Mayor Pauline yes. is a royal. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is my favorite example. <laughs> so Mayor Pauline is a royal, and the New Donkers, which, you know, people might look at and say, oh, that's a human. Uh, no. No. They are, uh, what did we say? Urbanites? Uh, yeah, urbanites. Yeah, urbanites is like the grander term for it, but New Dunkers is like the specific ones for, uh, the ones that serve Pauline. They're basically like hustle and bustle city elementals. Yeah, they're city elementals, and they serve Pauline as her thralls. That's why, like, there are no children New Dunkers, because mm -hmm. they're not born. Yeah. They're like expressions of, like, sort of the concept of like urban life <laughs> yeah of like living in a city and like they they don't have regular lives they just sort of like uh, they have things that are sort of like emblematic of the city the hustle and bustle of the city so like for instance i feel like new donkers are always like like you said like <laughs> losing the account yeah they're like losing the account or like trying to close deals yeah they're trying to close deals they're constantly losing the account like losing the account is the worst thing that any donker can do also sorry this became a podcast but it's a podcast now <laughs> yeah they are always like going to or from work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh their only sustenance is like coffee and like new york street hot dogs well not new, new york and, and sorry bagels. new donk and bagels yeah bagels are another one mm -hmm. um so yeah, that's like another example. Um, so another thing, so we have the Goombas, which serve King Bowser, but there's a King Goomba. So I think that royals can swear loyalty to another royal 
and thus grant the allegiance of their th own thralls to that other royal. So for instance, like we have a King Goomba and that's where, you know, sort of all the Goombas come from, but they all as a unit serve King Bowser. So they are sort of by extension Bowser's thralls. There's also a King Babam. There's also a King Babam. Yeah, that's right. Uh, which I think we decided at some point that like <laughs> the Babams are like an industrious like science like they're all like scientist people. Yeah. Like they 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 do all the engineering for the Koopa Troop. Now there's no king like Bullet Bill, but nope. Bullet Bills are constructs. Yeah, Bullet Bills are constructs. They uh they are arguably sentient, but you know we we don't have enough data <laughs> on those. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, somebody in the chat asked if uh, do royals ever get ever get lonely in their domains or feel their thralls are flat. I think <laughs> mostly meaningful relationships we've seen in the Mario canon have mm -hmm. been between royals. Yeah, that's true. So, we can probably gather that, like, they aren't necessarily, like, getting to know their thralls because their thralls are just sort of an extension of their own will. Yeah, like, the thralls sort of already know their royals. <laughs> um... Um, Luigi is not Mario's thrall. Luigi is not Mario's thrall. Uh, Luigi... Okay, so, right, Luigi has a whole situation. Uh, so Luigi is a royal. Mario is also a royal. We'll get into Mario in a second. Yeah, Mario has his own situation. <laughs> Mario has another situation. Uh, Mario and Luigi are royals from... I think we decided they are from the USA? Um, right? Originally? I don't know if we decided that, but I'll... Oh, wait, they, they resided in the USA for a period of time, but they yeah. might be... Because they are... In Yoshi's Island, they're from the Mushroom World. Yeah. Okay, so they're from the Mushroom World. They spent time in the USA. Anyway, sorry. Luigi's thralls are ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so, in order for a domain to sort of spark and flourish, you need, like, a location that's, like sort of empty in a sense yeah like and sort of like fertile ground fertile for ground the expression of these beings yes and i think luigi's mansion yeah is the ground where luigi's thralls sort of took root mm -hmm. but now since luigi is weak willed mm -hmm. he can't control his thralls he cannot control but they his manifest thralls. nonetheless mm -hmm. so luigi constantly being haunted by ghosts is actually just sort of his own power made manifest and he's too afraid to control it can't do it. Uh, Mario's thing. Uh, wait, somebody asked what about King Boo? And oh, King Boo, Boo and ghosts. Oh, Boos different. and ghosts are different. Ghosts are dead humans, <laughs> <laughs> which Luigi has dominion over. Uh, and Boos are born as um, Boos. Yeah, Boos are just what they are. They're reflections of King Boo, which uh, where King Boo came from, who can say? <laughs> but they're definitely uh, a separate a separate entity from a human ghost. Now, now Mario. Now Mario. Mario's situation. Uh, so you've... We all know Wrecking Crew. We all know the uh, the prequel to Wreck Boy, Super Mario Brothers Wrecking Crew, which is not the name of the game. Um, and the, in that game, there's, like, sentient tools, right? Yeah, like, there's, like, a wrench. Uh-huh. There's kind of... The eggplant is kind of a tool. The eggplant is a tool in such that it's kind of a dick. You. Yeah. To, to you, the player <laughs> Super Mario. It's sort of a different sort of tool. Mm -hmm. So, but you got like the pipe wrench man. Yeah. So the pipe wrench man is basically all I remember about Wrecking Crew. Yeah. Uh, besides the stuff, <laughs> besides the stuff that I invented the wholesale, the whole cloth for Wreck Boy. Uh, and so I think that what happened was when Super Mario happened upon the warp pipe that leads from the United States of America <laughs> into the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, the, the sewer system between the two is sort of... That was the fertile ground for Super Mario the Plumber's thralls to, to like, take hold. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, Mario, having, you know, grown up in the United States of America, mm -hmm. he was afraid of it. Yeah, he, d he didn't know it was happening. Yeah. So he had to just tear it all down. Mm -hmm. So I think at this point, Super Mario does not have thralls waiting for him in the sewer system anymore. I think he took them all down. Mm -hmm. on his way to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, so he's sort of a royal who, like, abandoned his duty as a royal. Yeah. He, and that's sort of, uh, like, he lives in the Mushroom Kingdom, but it's kind of like he has no home. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just where he feels most comfortable. Yeah. Because, like, they were very accepting of him when he arrived, mm -hmm. but... They don't ask a lot of questions in the Mushroom Kingdom. 
And we, and we talked about how Waluigi is not a royal. Yeah, Waluigi's not a royal. I think Waluigi is a man. He's just a person. <laughs> I think Waluigi is just a guy. Uh, my personal... It's not really connected to the, the royals and thralls discussion, but um, I think that Waluigi is a guy that responded to uh, like a personals ad when Wario was looking for like a doubles partner in tennis. Mm -hmm. And he was like... I'm not gonna. I was about to do a Wario voice, but I stopped myself. Anyway, <laughs> Wario was like, "Hey, <laughs> come on!" Did he hear while we're discussing these <laughs> yeah. lofty topics? <laughs> yeah, uh, Wario was like, "All right, you're my doubles partner now. You have to wear this uniform. This is the tennis uniform here, and it's you know a purple version of Mario's outfit." And I think that when Waluigi is not playing tennis or partying, uh, I think he wears normal human clothes. Yeah, but during. During, he's like a man who likes tennis. He's a man who likes tennis, and he has to wear the uniform, which Wario has tricked him into thinking is a purple version of Super Mario's famous overalls. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Waluigi answered a Craigslist ad. Yeah, so he's not a royal or a thrall, he's just some guy. He's just a guy who exists. Yeah, there are like there are people who do not like ascend to royalty. Um, is Wario a royal? Um, that's a good question. I don't... Thinks so. well, he's like, unless I think he, he's sort of very much aspires to royalty. He but... aspires to royalty. I think. Okay, so I think that Wario is one with the qualities of a royal, but not the actual like biology. <laughs> so he doesn't like have the. He, he doesn't have the spark. He doesn't have the quirk mm. that makes him a royal. But we see, like, in for instance, in the WarioWare series, where Wario first really made his name. Yeah, that's uh, why he made his name in the WarioWare. He made his name in the WarioWare games. Um, he sort of gains a following there, but there, you know, the following is just like the regular citizens of Diamond City. Um, so I don't think Wario's a royal. I think that he has the capacity to lead. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just either through trickery or. I guess the are the Franc well I don't know enough about the Francs, but I feel like maybe that could be a thing. Yeah, this is we're in uncharted territory. We're in uncharted territory with this one. <laughs> Wario was not fed the royal jelly, is true, that's <laughs> canon. Um, so we've already talked about the Kongs. We talked about the Kongs. The Kongs are They're not royals. They're not royals, they are not thralls, they are <sighs> Okay, sort so of like you know how, a, like, a forest fire will, <laughs> like, destroy, but also sort of leave, like, fertile ground? Yeah, they're like that. They're gods of- okay, for for the Dragon Ball folks here in the chat, Kongs are gods of destruction. They are placed by the universe into places that need to be cleansed every once in a while to sort of, you know, make room for new life. Uh, but, um, people- don't want that. People don't want Donkey Kong. The thing is, is that people don't want Donkey Kong. <laughs> that's why the that's the tag. That's why that's the tagline of the arcade game. Mm -hmm. It's like people don't want Donkey Kong. Like yeah. you remember the commercials. Uh huh. Yeah, I can never forget it. Um, I, I don't even have to do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all in the old noggin. Uh, but yeah, the Kongs were banished. <laughs> I think that's all we need to really say about them. Uh, the people of New Donk City do fear the Kongs with all their heart and soul. Not because that they were, it's not because they were there, they weren't present for the original Donkey Kong 94 and also the original Donkey Kong, mm -hmm. but Pauline was, and they are reflections of Pauline. Yeah, so, so every New Donker is born with like an innate fear of the Kongs. <laughs> There's a Kong in my chat. Like, this like genetic memory yeah. of like the trauma of being menaced by Donkey Kong. Now the Brutals. The rabbits from... Or they're from the moon. They're from the moon. We, we have established mm -hmm. that they ca there can be thralls without a royal. Oh, yes, that's they, true. They Wait. bound to the land. <sighs> who, were the, who were the bound to the land thralls I that we thought of? the Yoshi? From Yoshi's Island? Yeah. Yoshis are probably... Yoshis are thralls of Yoshi's Island, which is sort of presided over by the super happy tree. Yeah. Um, so I guess really... The super happy tree is the royal of Yoshi's Island. If we wanna, if we wanna make it, bring it down to a point. Yeah, yeah. If we had to like define. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like we had more 
more uh, more land royals. More land royals, because we had a reason to come yeah, up with because that. Because it was dinosaur land. Yeah. And Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we haven't written all this down. We just talk about it every once in a while, and yeah. it sort of reestablishes. It's sort of an oral tradition. It's an oral tradition. Feel free to pass this one on to your grandkids. Um, the Koopalings are royals. Koopalings are, yeah, they are royals that have like so they're like ascended thralls, right? Um, uh, I don't know. Because that's how. Because Bowser didn't. They aren't his kids. Yeah, the, the Koopalings are not Bowser's children. Like, royalty... I guess they would have to be ascended thralls. Uh, yeah, because royalty can be transferred from parent to child. But I think maybe, like, a royal can be like, you're the next one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think maybe... It seems Bowser-like to, like... So the, the Koopalings are all older than Bowser Jr. I guess... I think if we need a term for this, we could describe them as nobility. Nobility. Okay. All right. I like this. Yeah. So I think, I think probably before Bowser had Bowser Jr., he pulled out like the best of his best, like the most notable Koopa Troopas, and was like, "You all are next in line potentially," and that's why they're always arguing and stuff because they're yeah, all yeah, like yeah. in next in line no, for the they're throne. They're vying for, for yeah, they're they're vying for power. Also, someone brings up ascended thralls, Captain Toad and Toadsworth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, yes. I think that's true. I think Captain Toad probably just falls within the regular old thrall territory, but he's definitely making a name for himself out there. I think thralls can be individuals. It's yeah, just rare. Mm -hmm. Like, the, uh, I mean, the, the helpers in the Paper Mario games are thralls, by yeah, definition. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that we needed to hit in this territory? Um, that I, I can't I think. think we've got the gist of it. I think we got the gist of it. So, sort of, just know that there are thralls, there are royals. Thralls are typically reflections of a royal or a land. That's the other thing. I don't know that we made that clear. Is that thralls can also be, sort of... They can come from a land. They can be a reflection of a land. Yeah. Um, but most importantly is that thralls are not so much like a propagating species so much as like a manifestation of like a greater power. Right, right, right. Um, People are asking about K. Rool, I think. Oh, K. Rool? K. Rool is a royal. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a royal. He's got thralls. They're Kremlings. Yeah, Kremlings are uh, K. Rool's thralls. Um, so DK and the Kongs are separate. They are sort of universal forces. Uh, and K. Rool is a royal who just keeps butting heads with the Kongs because he found them in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> where they were meant to never be found again. <laughs> um, and that actually makes King K. Rool, like, one of the most dangerous forces on the planet. Yeah, just, like, willingly just picking a fight with the He's Kongs. He's picking a fight with the Kongs and, like, potentially drawing the Kongs ire away from DK Island. Like, he, in Donkey Kong Country 2... Like, the Kongs leave DK Island, and they go to <laughs> Kremfuck Bay or whatever. <laughs> I don't remember what the... The Western Kremisphere? No, that's the third one. They go uh, to the Northern Kremisphere. Northern Kremisphere. Krem... Town. Krem... The United Krem... The United Krems of America is where they go in... <laughs> um, <laughs> seeing the words that I said written out in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, but they go there, and it's dangerous. Uh, the enemies in Mario Land, so that's a thing. I do believe that a portion of those, at least, are Daisy's thralls. Um, but I'm here's not... the thing, is that in Mario Land, you go to a bunch of different places, right? Um, I don't know. Okay, you don't know anything. Sorry. Um, so the first, I think the first area in Super Mario Land is Sarasaland, which is where Daisy is the princess of. But then there's also, like, a... The Japan world. There's like the world that isn't there like the world that takes place in a giant Mario. No, that's Mario Land Two. Ah. That's that's <laughs> that's a whole other bag of worms. <laughs> Mario Land Two is like it takes place in Super Mario's like constructed kingdom. Like he's trying to recapture his sort of royal side, but it's not where it's not the fertile ground where his his thralls sprouted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So it's just like an abandoned world that is sort of built into Mario's image. Yeah. <laughs> and it has a pumpkin land and a Mario land and... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that one. Uh... Is that all? Um, 
People are asking about Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, and I think they're not in this. They're not, they don't live in Super Mario's world. Yeah, they have their own universe with its own laws. So here's the thing, though. So based on uh, Super Mario and Luigi's sort of emergence into the Mushroom Kingdom mm-hmm. as Roy... Wait, no. They were born in the Mushroom Kingdom. Though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind. Never mind. So, Forget that. Forget what I was about to say. Mm-hmm. You uh, have to be, like... You have to be Mushroom Kingdom born. Mm-hmm. The Olympics are non-canon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, they're canon, but, like, everybody has to come to Earth. Yeah, yeah. like... Sonic and friends are still not from Mario's world. They're, They're not still... from Mario's world. And even if they traveled to Mario's world, they wouldn't be, like, suddenly manifesting powers from like, yeah. the beings of Mario's world. Right, right, right. And then for the Olympics, I think what happens is they take a warp pipe from the Mushroom Kingdom to planet Earth to go to Rio to take part in the official, actual Rio Olympics and overshadow all the real, regular humans that also showed up. That's why you never hear about, like regular Olympic competitors anymore whenever a Mario and Sonic Olympics game comes out. Exactly. Do you think that the regular human competitors have to do, like... Do you think that they have to fight a giant ice version of Perfect Chaos <laughs> in the ice skating competition of the Olympics? Because that happens in one of the Olympic games. Wart is a royal of... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just jumping to a new topic. Wart is the royal of Subcon, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, stuff like... Well, here's the thing. It's the 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 waters there are a little bit muddy because shy guys are a they, real yeah, thing. They exist. they exist. I think what Mario could just be dreaming that there was like a royal controlling all of these. That's true. Yeah, like it, it doesn't necessarily have to be real. Wart isn't real. Smithy is a royal. Smithy is a really good example of a royal because he is very clearly a king. <laughs> he has a crown, and he has extremely clear thralls in that they are weapons. Mm-hmm. Fawful is a thrall, yes. He's a thrall of, uh... Bean Lord. Uh, I don't Kekleta? remember... Kekleta? <laughs> <laughs> Bean Lord. <laughs> Bean Lord was quite a creme fuck bay. <laughs> I don't think. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have, like, a... We don't have... Gino is a thrall of Rosalina. That's a good point. I think that's... I think, well... Does Rosalina have any relation to the Star Road, um, the Mushroom Kingdom? Because, like, a galaxy, that p- takes place, like, far away, right? Um, and the Star Road is implied to only be, like, it's local to the Mushroom Kingdom. I think Rosalina's thralls are Lumas, right? Oh, yeah, Rosalina's thralls are Lumas. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I think Gino is, uh, if he's a thrall, unprepared to make that statement, but if. Uh, we haven't seen the royal. Uh, it could be a uh, thrall of the land of the star road. Oh, that's probably yeah. Okay, I like that. Because <laughs> also Gino's true form is just like a star. Yeah, it's like, it's a, just little like twinkle. a little twinkle. Star. Oh, which makes Twink from Paper Mario the same sort of creature that Gino is. Oh yeah. But then we have the star oh, yeah, like men. Each the... Uh, the the stars in Paper Mario. Which yeah. Are personalities. Mm, are they thralls, or are they, like... They could so, be, like, a sort of so circle maybe, of royals. I think they're... Or either that, or just a circle of very powerful thralls of the land. Oh. Sort of like a council. Of, like, ah. the, the best of the best. <laughs> hmm. I feel like that's likely. If, if we have, like, I a... If there's, like, an ascended council of mm-hmm. thralls, I think that might count as nobility. I think they're nobility. I think there could be nobility without a royal. Yeah, I think. A land. Yeah, in a situation where like the thralls are thralls of the land, and there's no royal exist, like there's no existing royal to proceed over them. Yeah, I think they could probably sort of just self ascend to nobility. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. X knots are Grotus thralls. Yes, <laughs> true. Uh, which makes, I guess, uh, what's his name? Crump. Crump's a, a nobility. Kroko is not an ascended Yoshi. He just sucks. <laughs> yeah, he's Kroko. just a he's just a Yoshi who doesn't know how to wear shoes. <laughs> Wait, does Kroko wear shoes? Hang on. Um, I'm thinking of Boshi. Uh, Kroko, Yoshi, Smurf Pidgey. That's how I read that's how RPG in my like... mind. Oh, he has the same exact feet as Boshi. Oh yeah, he's got like kind of shoes, but. They're like those gross toe shoes, but also his toes are just coming out of them. He's wearing Naruto shoes of the Leaf Village. Uh, this is really weird. I never noticed they have the exact same feet before. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
Does this raise new questions? I... I'm not prepared to answer these. <laughs> anyway, I need to end this. <laughs> I'm going to leave. Okay. Thank you for letting me come here and ramble on your stream. Yeah, no problem. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> it's... Oh, the game has just been in the background this whole time. That's fine. Alright, uh, thanks for indulging that, everybody. I wasn't looking at the chat at all, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh... Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Cappy is a member of the uh, the Cap Kingdom, which I <sighs> Ashley's gone now, but I don't think we see royalty. It's implied that like Cappy and uh, Tiara are like uh, some kind of like they're they're not just regular Cap Kingdom folk. I think they're like maybe the equivalent of royalty, but Cap Kingdom might be a, a Thralls of the Land situation. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming to my stream. Which was about 90% uh, Sonic Adventure Crimes and 10% Mario Science. It's Mario TED Talk Podcast Science. So uh, stay tuned, I'm going to end the stream for a little bit and then probably start up with Tekken, uh, which I'm tipsy for, so it's going to be very bad, but uh, fun, and I won't care. <laughs> so I hope you'll all, uh, those who are coming back for Tekken, I'll see you later. Those of you who are going to bed or just uh, going to do other things that aren't watch me play Tekken, uh, have a nice evening or daytime or night or 3pm specifically. I had a very nice time. So I'll see you all next one. Bye. I'm gonna put an emote in the chat. Boo! There it is. Bye bye.